Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Um, today I'm dyeing my hair and I'm so nervous but also excited but mostly nervous because this is virgin black hair. It has not been touched by dye um, and actually I dyed my hair sophomore year of high school but it all grew out and like it's not here anymore <laughs> thank god because it was so bad i'll insert some photos of my ombre hair it was like so brassy so like orangish yellow it was just not a good look and yeah it was a really big regret of mine because they bleached my hair and like i don't think olaplex was a thing back then or at least not as popular so it definitely ruined my hair and it definitely stripped my shine basically when i'm probably gonna get today is balayage i want to get like a very very subtle balayage like nothing too drastic nothing too like blonde or anything um i just kind of want to get like some dark brown highlights i'm not even really sure what we're doing today um we'll see what the hairstylist says i'm in like a facebook group for like awesome photographers models and all that and the hairstyle posted that he needed models for like a YouTube video that he was doing so I like commented and I was chosen and I was so excited because I've been wanting to get like a balayage kind of like thing done to my hair for like so long now I've just always been so nervous about the whole like stripping the shine bleaching my hair kind of a thing um but now I know that there's like Olaplex and all these like really good treatments for your hair after you dye it so so hopefully it turns out good i mean i really like my dark black hair but just like when i'm doing hairstyles like braids and like all that i just want a little bit of dimension like you see all these like pinterest braids on all these blonde girls and it only looks really that good because you can see it because it's like blonde highlights and like little dark brown highlights you know what i mean so you can see the braid better um, so that's really what I'm looking for, just like a little bit of dimension to my hair. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that today to my hair. My appointment is at 12 today, and I'm actually curious to see how long it takes to do the balayage because when I got my ombre done, I remember sitting in that chair forever, and it sucked. So my hair has gotten really, really long. Um, the last time I cut it was right before graduation, which was in May 2019 and it's grown like a ton i feel like i cut it like right here i think that's like a lot of hair um but that's the good thing about my hair it does grow fast so if i don't like it for whatever reason you know it does grow fast so i'm going to take you guys along this journey dying by virgin black hair <laughs> So let's get started. All right guys, it is time. I'm in the salon chair. I'm with Chuck over here. You wanna say hi and introduce yourself? Hi, yourselves? I'm Chuck. Um, I'm on YouTube at Chuck Edwards Hair. Yeah, and we're, I'll link it down below um, so that you can see like the whole process because his video is probably gonna be more in depth than mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is gonna be exciting. Yay. <laughs> How long does it usually t take? It's gonna be probably like it really depends on your hair and how long it takes you to lift. Yeah. But ultimately, like maybe two, three hours. What does lift mean? Um, to lighten up. Have you ever had your hair color before? I have. Okay. <laughs> like a really long time ago. Gotcha. Um, and I did ombre and it was the worst thing I could have ever done. So <laughs> okay. that's why I'm traumatized. Um, but I know balayage is like a, like a world of difference. You know what I mean? So. so tell me what your, you sent me quite a few pictures. Mm -hmm. What do you love about those pictures or what, what, I, I think, guess. I think I like ashy if that is Absolutely. the thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just, I mean, I definitely want it to be subtle, but like I want it to look like I did something to my hair too. Right. I think I need some assistance. So like on a scale of one being no change mm -hmm. and 10 being a complete change, mm -hmm. where do you kind of feel like you want to sit in there? Six. Okay, so you want to see it, you want people to notice it, but yeah. you want people to go like, yeah. she, she changed her yeah. hair. Yeah, the thing is like everyone just compliments me on how shiny it is and like the how virgin hair. and like, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, So like I'm just, I just, I want to keep the shine and like I want to keep my hair dark, but like I also want the dimension. Right. So, I don't know. so let me, let me grab some swatches okay. and we'll kind of look at um, some ideas of where we can go with the color. Okay. And then you tell me from there what feels like, you know what, this kind of feels like what I'm gonna do or. Okay. So here are some color swatches. 
the purpose behind this is really for you to kind of fill out the family that you want to live in first. Yeah. This is the kind of more golden, yeah. red, yeah. chocolatey, yeah. ashy, and then natural. Okay. And these all pop out, so you're welcome to pull any of them out and kind of see them against your hair mm -hmm. to see what that dimension would look like. I think I'm like definitely in this in realm. family. Yeah, perfect. And they're can all you, super. Can pleasant. you recommend? Anything? So let's see kind of where okay. you live naturally. Okay. So naturally, you're roughly about a two. So not black, but yeah. kind of a natural black. Okay. So anything that lives in here would be a highlight to your hair. Okay. Right. Um, so some of these, you live at a two, so that's kind of where you are naturally. Okay. So you can kind of see this against all these different colors. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> okay. I feel like that doesn't look like anything different. You know? It's going to be very subtle if you, yeah. you know, if you're staying, because oh. that's only a slight change. Right. Now, granted, you know, you also don't need to think about that color being right up near your scalp because we're not yeah, going to yeah. put it right yeah, there. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh. So essentially, um, I don't know. I think I just really need you to, like, maybe give me like two options. And... So really what it kind of comes down to is yeah. knowing the right family that you want to live in okay. and, and where you don't want to go. Okay. I definitely don't want to go in golden. So I you want to live I in this family. I definitely want to ash, yeah. Where do you not want to live? Here. Pro okay. Take that okay. and kind of hold that near your head. And what that will kind of tell you is is how dark or light you want to be. What, what okay, scares maybe the heck like, out of you. Maybe like this. Up. Okay, perfect. That tells me pretty much everything that I need to know as far okay. as color goes. What do you think? Is I that think that's, good? Yeah, that's great. Okay. And that's a great place to start because okay. you can always add more. Okay, okay. You just, that's true. you know. Yeah. It's, um, so you can always layer on if you are like, okay. you know what, this is pretty, but mm -hmm. I wish that there was just a couple more pops of color. Okay. Um, and then the next question is how much of that color do you want to see in your hair? I don't know. Do you want it, the ends <laughs> to feel really saturated in color or do you want it to just feel let still me, kind of pretty subtle? Yeah, let me look at those pictures. See how this is a bit more saturated and there's this a lot one? more color there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe not that. Yeah, I like this. Okay, but so. But that's like brown, you know what I mean? Right. So that's like more warm, but yeah, like that, but ashy. Um, yeah, is that good? Mm -hmm. okay. And then next question, how high up do you want to see it go? What do you recommend? That's a preference thing. Uh, dang that it. one's a really <laughs> personal preference okay, thing. And yeah, really what it comes down to is, is, um, what I, what I tell a lot of people to think about is, is how much of that bright color do you want to see staying right on your skin? Mm. Um, because that's where it's going to make a difference. Mm. Otherwise, it's going to fall in and, and you know be a part of the rest of your hair. Mm -hmm. So do you want to see kind of that face framing area where it kind of goes up mm -hmm. around your face? Or do you want to leave that kind of lower down? Some people like it to start at their cheek line mm -hmm. to kind of accentuate their cheeks. Some okay. people like it to start all the way up at their hairline to kind of... Feel like it's framing out their I face. Think maybe cheeks is fine. Okay. Yeah. So staying kind of lower with it. Yeah. And then from the back, kind of blending it down from there. Yeah. Perfect. That's and then awesome. for uh, just the haircut, like just keep long layers. Because for the dimension, like the reason why I want it so bad is if I do like cool braids or something, like I want it to it's show, beautiful. you know? Yeah. Um, but then layers like are annoying when you do braids, you know what I mean? So <laughs> just maybe like long layers. So that's awesome. Okay. So if you want to slip on a color robe, they're hanging up in the hallway right here. Oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> you look so good! You look so good! This is literally perfect. Yeah. Literally perfect. I feel like it's not like you can't even like tell really, but like you Where can tell. Where it starts and stops, it's yeah. just kind of melty, chocolatey <gasps> oh beautifulness. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's really pretty. <laughs> this is literally like everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> Yay. I love it. I'm so glad that you oh like my gosh. it. Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it too. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, can we take some after pictures? Oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> is done it looks amazing like I'm actually obsessed this is everything I always wanted off of Pinterest so I'm really excited now we're gonna go shoot some photos and videos and all that stuff so I am back home and this is what it looks like can you guys even tell a difference? Like, I kind of can, but then I also kind of can't. He said that it kind of looks like I just naturally lightened my hair in the sun, which I agree with, but I think it's so pretty. I think it's like perfect. It's natural. I didn't want it to be like super blonde. And actually right after we washed it, the first time we like put dye on it, um, it was kind of like, kind of like orange, red, whatever. I guess my hair just brought out the warmer tones, so he had to go back and tone it. But now it is freaking perfect, <laughs> and I'm really excited about it. Um, I wanna take some photos of my hair, so hopefully when Ryan gets home from work, he'll uh, be so kind <laughs> to help me take photos. But I'm really obsessed with it. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I know it's not the most dramatic change, but it is still a change for me because I literally thought I would never dye my hair again after my traumatic experience with ombre. So um, yeah, I'm really excited and happy that I did it finally because I've always wanted to. And uh, it just looks so like good and natural and it smells so good and it's, he curled it so pretty and I'm just loving it. So shout out to Chuck. He's the one that did my hair. He's here in Austin, like north central Austin, I would say. So if you guys are in Austin and want some balayage done or like, he, obviously he does everything with hair, um, check him out. I'll have his info in the description below. 